Hi guys, you're welcome to Halogenous Ideas. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can send emails using Python. So a major component of this script is going to be an SMTP server. So your SMTP server is what your Python code is going to be communicating with. Then the SMTP server will push the email out. Okay. So um, the first thing we want to do is to import the library with which we will be communicating with the SMTP server. So we import SMTP. Then for security purposes, we have to also import um, SSL. So SSL, we have the SMTP lib and the SSL. Now, what are the parameters we need to communicate with, with our SMTP server? The parameters we need, we need a port. So the, you can use, we have many options, SMTP servers that you can use. We have the Gmail SMTP server, we have the Yahoo Mail SMTP server, we have the Outlook, which is what I'm, I'm going to be using. So the Outlook SMTP server is what um, we are going to be using. So this Outlook SMTP server uses a port of 5, 8 and 7. You can just proceed to um, Outlook.com create a new account and just um, come back here it is it is very simple to to um, to create an account with Outlook so the port is 587 then the SMTP server link the SMTP server the link is going to be SMTP dot office 365 dot com okay so that will be smtp.office365.com. I think for Gmail, if you are using Gmail SMTP server, I think it is mail.gmail.com. I can't remember. So or smtp.gmail.com. I can't remember. But just um, any SMTP server you are using, just get the link. Then you get the right port for it. Then after that, um, I'm going to be needing the sender email. The sender email. So this sender email, you can see this file I have over here, this constant.py, that is where I have my email and my password. I have it in this file already, so I'll just import it. I don't want to have to expose them. So I'll just, to bring them into this particular file, I'll just say from constant import um, I want to import sender email and also import password. So on your own end, you can just do something like sender email equal to, then you write your email, maybe email at example.com or something like that, whatever your email is. But in my own case, I can just say sender email. Then after doing that, I also need my password. So password. So for the password, I'm going to be having password as well. But in your own case, just pass it in as a string like this. Then you write whatever your password is. Okay. So, but in my own case, I'll just leave it as password. Then the email of the receiver. The receiver. Receiver email. It should be E-I-V-E-R, E-I-V-E-R, the receiver email. So let me just use, um, let me create a new email, temp mail dot org. So I'll get a disposable email here. Um, they will give me a disposable email, one I can use for the tutorial. So copy, come here. So that will be the receiver's email. Okay. So after that, I'll now come to type my message. So I'm going to be using multi-line string for this. So I can do something like, um, so that everything will be on one line. I can just come here to say subjects. I can just say hi there, then the body, this is a message 
from Python. Okay, then that is it. Now I have to create an SSL context. Okay, to create some level of security for our email. So for me to do that, context equal to SSL dot create default context default context okay so after creating my context the next thing i want to do now i will now say with smtp lib dot smt and p i'll pass in my smtp server and also pass in the port okay then i can just say as server no, a server. Now, the reason why I would prefer to use this is so that um, anytime the the email sends out like successfully, it will close this like automatically. So, okay. So I I have my SMTP server. I have my port. I think every everything is fine now. So I can now go ahead to the first of all send like beep the server so i can do something like server dot ehlo just to let me see the documentation right. just continue so now to bring in my security server dot start TLS, then I'll now say the context equal to context. So basically, I'm bringing in this con context over here. So optionally, you can now say server dot hello again. Then the next thing I want to do is to log into the server. All right, don't forget this is my SMTP server, and I have my sender email and password. This are the this is the email and the password. So this is this are what I'm going to be using to log into that particular SMTP server. So I'll now say server dot login. For me to log in, send a email, then password. Okay. So after that, the next thing I want to do is to now send the email. I want to believe that after this line of code, I'm logged into my server. So the next thing I want to do is to send the email proper. So server dot send mail now for me to send the email i'm going to be needing the sender email then i'm going to be passing the receiver email then i'm going to be passing the message and that is it but before doing that let me just print email sent successfully okay like i said the other time before we start trying it out that is all the code we have to write like i said the other time please on your own end the sender email is the email address of your outlook while the password is the outlook account password okay the sender email is the email address of um of the outlook account why this password is the password of your outlook account the one you just created just go to outlook.com to create it so for us to test it i'm um, just come and run this over here then you can see it is running it is running we just have to wait a bit you can see it is giving me email sent successfully but that is just what i'm saying on the console here so how can i verify just to check that this, this email actually sent successfully I come to my web browser come down you can see you can see me opening it now you can see the time is sent you can see and you can see the sender this is the email address i'm using this is the outlook account over here so you can see the subject hi there now the message itself this is a message from python so that is how you can use your python um that is how you can use python to send emails 
that's how you can use Python to send emails. Like I said the other time, you can decide to use Gmail as your SMTP server. You can also decide to use Yahoo Mail as your SMTP server. All of them works just fine. But um, I decided to use Outlook because, well, the process to create it is very simple. Just go to Outlook.com, create um, an email address, then you will get your password. Just bring in your email and your password over here. You can also decide to send this to an actual Gmail account and it will work just fine, okay? Just type in your subject, then the body of the email and um, do all these other ones and you are good to go. So that would be all for this tutorial. Thank you very much. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them in the comment section and um, I'll respond to them ASAP. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to the channel. Your support means a lot to us. Bye for now. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Peace.